everyone welcome back to my channel let's talk money well this channel is about money so I have to mention Bitcoin right this is kind of a big deal nowadays have you heard of Bitcoin um, is this the revolution as it happens in the money world or it's something like a bubble a two craze of the 21st century we don't know that yet but looking at the big rises in value since it became known, I can tell that Bitcoin and crypto coins alike are making a big deal in the financial world. I like the numbers and the numbers say that Bitcoin increased from 5 cents back in 2009 when it was born to $2,766 for one Bitcoin at the time I recorded this video and today is July 24, 2017. That, my friends, is a huge profit. Even gold didn't get as high historically as Bitcoin did. So if you invested just $5 back in 2009 and bought 100 Bitcoins for 5 cents each today, the value of those Bitcoins would be substantial. So what really is Bitcoin? I asked my five-year-old daughter what Bitcoin is and she said this is a gold coin. That was quite a response, a cute response given her age. Um, due to the fact that even five-year-olds already have an idea that Bitcoin is something of value, that, that tells me that it's, it's kind of a big deal. Um, and on this note, um, I want to give advice to tooth fairies. So I highly recommend that tooth fairies all over the world start investing in bitcoins because um, there is going to be quite a demand. Um, that was a joke. Uh, so I've asked other people what bitcoin is and I keep receiving rather um, different and entertaining responses. Some people say this is money, others say um, it's digital currency, decentralized digital currency, new money system and so on and so forth. I personally don't think this is a money, um, Bitcoin is money just yet. Um, and I'll um, talk about that in a whole different video. Um, but I want to mention that the idea behind Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies is that it is a system of transferring funds from one person to another, easily and free without the third party involved in the transaction. So for those that ever send money through Western Union, MoneyGram or bank, know that the service costs money. The person receiving money will have to wait a while to receive the funds and uh, the person sending money will have to pay a transaction fee. So it's a bit inconvenient. This is, this is um, it's, it's becoming history as the PayPal and other ways of transferring money came along. So with Bitcoin, you can send money easily and fast without paying, paying any transaction fees. Well, ideally, that's the idea at least. Um, since 2009, the system got quite popular. Recently, there have been more and more transactions in Bitcoins, and I guess even the system was not ready to handle the number of transactions. So now the platform can handle three to seven transactions per second, comparing to Visa that can handle up to 40 transactions per second. This is rather slow. Um, again, this became inefficient as more and more transactions came along and the blockchain needed some re-engineering, some, some speed up, um, to, to, to speed up the process of, um, in order to increase the volume per seconds and make the transactions fast and simple. Um, I uh, will not mention any uh, technical terms, or to, at least I'll try to stay away from technical terms and, and, and be as, um, as simple as possible, but I have to mention SegWit. Uh, in case you didn't um, know what this is, um, basically the goal of SegWit is to increase the speed of transactions. Uh, in blockchain. This process started on July 21st, um, again today is July 24th, 2017. Um, hopefully the process goes on smoothly and the genius engineers do a good job and the expansion of the system works well. Uh, however, uh, there are a few risks associated with this process, with the uh, re-engineering of the blockchain. 
Um, so one of the risks, as I uh, see, uh, and other, well, the, based on the research that I did, I see this as a risk, is that there could be some network disruption during this time. So there could be some bumpy roads for a month while work is in progress. Um, once the work is over, uh, there are potentially two situations that could happen. And this is estimated to be take a month. So I, I should say month of August would be somewhat um, um, volatile uh, for Bitcoin. So again, back to those two situations. Situation number one, everything works well and you can continue transacting Bitcoins as usual, but at a more efficient and speedy level. Scenario number two, Bitcoin could split into different competing Bitcoins and there could be a bunch of other risks associated with that, but I'm not gonna go into that um, in the video. Uh, due to work in progress for a month, I would say it is not wise to send and receive payments in Bitcoin during this time. Uh, again, I would not buy Bitcoins either due to price volatility that could arise. Yes, it is possible that if the system works well, this could lead to potentially huge returns. Even a small exposure could turn into a lot of money down the road uh, for the next few years. Um, so I, I consider Bitcoin a risky investment. Uh, if you buy it at today's historically high prices, you could easily lose most of your investment in a matter of weeks, or you can strike it big time and get quite rich, no one knows. Um, on this note, I want to make uh, something very clear that the information I present in this video is not financial advice. So do not take this as a financial advice and buy or sell coins. Uh, go ahead and consult with your financial planner, financial advisor, CPA, and so on. But this, the information is for, uh, again, it's for information only um, for the purpose of um, making all the disclosures clear. Thank you very much for sharing your time and watching this video. I would have more, I, I will certainly have more uh, videos on this topic. Um, so consider subscribing to my channel for more. Again, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon here on my channel, Let's Talk Money. Thanks a lot.